Sunday news tonight. National Boundary Commission holds interactive session in Calabar, need to foster development among rural communities in Fukas. Wife of the state governor distributes palliatives to women as 2024 International Day is marked. Plus, President Bola Tinibu signs executive orders aimed at reforming oil and gas sector in Nigeria. Details shortly. Good evening and thanks for joining us on the news. I am Uduak Etam. The need to foster development among boundary rural communities and restore government confidence is the focus at the one-day interactive session on United Nations confidence building measures along the nigeria Cameroon international boundary. Paul Lebel reports that the session is organized by the National Boundary Commission in collaboration with the State Boundary Committee. With the theme, Confidence Building and Inclusive Participation of the Rural Communities Along the Nigeria Cameroon Boundary for Sustainable Development, stakeholders from the five local government areas including Bakasi, Akankwa, Etung, Buki and Abanliku, which share boundary with Cameroon, have converged here as they express dissatisfaction over neglect of their people, lack of basic amenities in their communities, insecurity, among other factors, are bringing under development in the areas. They therefore appeal to the federal government and the United Nations for swift intervention. We have infringed on the right of Bakasi people. They do not have a home. I am even stateless. I'm only happy. My happiness that I came here in all we do is now on the saddle and you. And I'm sure I'll have a place to stay. And I will have a place that will be buried. Bambi Wahala is becoming something that is not allowing us to see it with our two eyes closed. The experience of Obaliko, you and another bodies that are in charge of this will have a rethink and come to our end. Let the UN, the federal government, join hands to make sure that they, they adjust this system. This country commission here is now crying. Please, I'm begging the UN, the Nigerian government, to do something in terms of the basic amenities. Secondly, the security aspect. If there is any way, Nigeria will yes with the Cameroonian government to do something. It is this scenario the state government says has prompted this interactive session and demand for the restoration of the city of Bakasi Peninsula, while the National Boundary Commission and the United Nations stress the need to tackle challenges with boundary demarcation, as well as giving a sense of belonging to the border communities and providing opportunities for socioeconomic development to prevent conflicts. On behalf of Cross River State, that we still feel a sense of injustice that has been done to us as a state by the seeding of Bakasi. The measures which is intent to focus on energy, trade, health, education, livelihood, and so on, should be designed to reflect the peculiarities of border communities which are diverse in lifestyle, vegetation, and terrain characteristics. Those on this Thus, on the part of the state government and other relevant stakeholders, we shall render all appropriate support towards the effective implementation of the need and assessment. Preventing relapse of conflict, providing opportunities for social economic development and enhancement of peace, security and stability along the border corridor, and also paving way for cross border cooperation between the boundary communities and territorial administrators. The essence of all what we are saying today is to bring back that lost hope to our border communities. They have been neglected for so long. No access to basic amenities. It's time to think about them. It's time to consider them in our planning and our development. Having a shared development plan usually is the best way to go, where each community has a stake in the future. So what I would advise the UN and 
across the state governments and the federal government in particular to do is create a development platform along the border, plow, the border corridors between Nigeria and Cameroon so that we can at least have a joint future. High point of the event was the announcement of the leadership of the Cross River State Local Border Platform with membership of all five local government areas including traditional rulers, security agencies and other groups as the interactive session gave stakeholders the opportunity to provide solutions to the myriad of challenges affecting the boundary communities. In Calabar, Paul Abel, NTA News. This year's International Women's Day celebration in Cross River State was a celebration of season of sweetness as the wife of the state governor, Ayo 102, distributed palliatives worth millions of naira to women. Maureen Liu Ajom reports that the theme for the celebration inspired inclusion, drummed advocacies on women empowerment in politics and governance. I know that there's um, hunger in the land. People have been um, protesting, crying of hunger and all of that. So I felt the best way to impact on the people is to reach out to them in this way, in giving palliatives at least to kind of cushion the effect of poverty in the land. Governance right from the beginning, the governor said it would be an all-inclusive governance. And so since it's an all-inclusive governance, women have to be in the front burner. That is part of our news. Thanks for watching.